Well, developing at 530, there are concerns about new plans to build a radar system on conservation land in Brevard County. Some say they're worried about the sea turtles and the vegetation at High Tower Beach, but others say it's safe and the benefits outweigh the drawbacks. News 6's James Barbero is in Satellite Beach with a closer look at the recently approved project and the arguments from both sides. With endangered sea turtle nestings and surrounding sea grapes. These are protected by state statute. Brevard County Commission candidate Sandra Sullivan says a preserve should not be the site of a coastal radar system. In Tallahassee this week, the state approved the project for the Florida Institute of Technology. The university says the radar will measure ocean currents, help search and rescue crews, monitor red tide and oil spills, and support space operations. The benefits are numerous. Which Professor Stephen Lazarus says will not harm turtles because the seven foot tall antennas and their cables will not be built in primary nesting locations. He argues the transmit power will be less watts than a light bulb and will produce far less frequency than your phone. This is minimal disturbance. I mean, really pretty light. Sullivan is concerned about the density of the preserve. It's illegal to damage the vegetation growing on the sand dunes. So how do you put a monopole into the ground when the roots are dense? So are they going to need to clear the sea grapes in front of it? Florida Tech responds that like turtles, sea grapes won't be harmed either. Sullivan argues the state spent money to preserve the park, not develop it. Brevard is so important to sea turtles and we have to find this balance of protecting the conservation areas that have been set aside for that. And installation is expected to start in November after the end of nesting season. In Satellite Beach, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.